What's up ladies and gents, welcome back to another Should I Buy. Today we're talking about Targi. This is an Andreas Steiger game put out by Cosmos. Let's go take a look at it. All right, so this is Targi. Now this is a worker placement game. What you're doing is your workers go on the exterior of the board. If you can get them to stand up, they do. And wherever they cross, my goodness, wherever they cross, which would be here and here in this case, you would get those bonuses and you'd get these bonuses. These cards you would pick up, they would go away and they would be replaced by new cards. Now, the goods, which are these, 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 those, anything that's a resource or points, you would get immediately, you use those to uh, pay for the tribe cards. Now, when you buy the tribe cards, they go in your little tableau and you are building your own little tableau like this, the rule book shows here. You're building a four by three there. The game is over once somebody builds their four by three and completes it or when this robber gets all the way back to where he starts here. Every single round, he's gonna move around the board. Now, these tribe cards also have a lot of different ways they can give you points. Um, you can get points just depending on how you line them up in your tableau that you're building. Some of them give you immediate bonuses, some of them give you ongoing bonuses, some of them give you bonuses at the end of the game. So there's a lot going on with these cards and the order that you play them in. There's a lot going on in this game, even though it's a very, very simple, straightforward game, really. Component-wise, you have all of your cards here, all of your goods cards and your tribes cards. You've got your two different colors of tokens, and then you've got your points and your goods. Unfortunately, the border cards are not double-sided. They just are the same thing on the other side, just spelled out more clearly for beginners. So either side does the same thing, which is a little disappointing. Now, I could be wrong, but to the best of my memory, this is actually the first, technically the first worker placement game I ever played. And even so, the originality of the concept was not lost on me. This game, <laughs> it's, I, I haven't seen it before or since, and I'm wondering when it's going to be replicated. Maybe it has it, I've missed it. But this mechanic of you have three workers that you get to place on the perimeter area, and then wherever they cross, you get those actions and the actions that you place them down. What's so, what makes this so good, despite already a two-pronged strategy, what makes it so good is the ability to thwart your opponent and shut down your opponent. Oh, you want? I can tell you're going for that? Well, I'm just going to put my guy here. Now you can't go after that. It's so easy to go after your opponent in this game and shut him down. The best part about that is that you don't even really have to sacrifice your own strategy a lot of times. Because if you're going to put your place in your guy in one spot to block him, there might be something in that that you want anyways in that row. And so it's easy to make your strategy work and shut the other person's down at the same time. But it's easy for both people to do that. And so it's really... It's a lot, it's a lot of fun to kind of spar with someone in this game. Now, there are things that I don't like, and the biggest one has got to be kind of a nitpicky thing, but the perimeter, they're double-sided. Those, those perimeter cards are double-sided, but they're the same on both sides. It's just one top, on one side, it's spelled out a little clearer. That really, really, really bugs me, because they had the opportunity to create totally different actions on the flip sides of all those cards, and they didn't. <laughs> they didn't do that. I mean, they had options to, I mean, it would change the game so much. I mean, there would be so much more variety in the game if they had done that, because it, the border would be different every single time, and instead of how, how the game is, it's identical every single time, which is definitely disappointing to me, and it uh, kind of leads to the other con, which is that I don't know how good the replayability on this game is, simply because of that. Now, it does have pros going for it that there's there's not much luck. It's a very, very strategic game. It has two major things going on with that worker placement in the middle, and then also your own tableau going on in front of you. You've got that, but you've also got this here, and you're trying to collect the right cards and put them in the right spots, and they all have their own bonuses. There's a lot going on between those two. But that alone keeps it on its feet, but if it just had a little more variety, I would really, really like this game. Now, I do like this game, and I do think you should buy it, because it is a lot of fun. It's just not a lot, a lot of fun. I think they missed a couple of key things there to really take this game to the next level. However, like I said, I do think you should buy it and I do think it is worth owning.